when people look at successful entrepreneurs, they they think, well, it's easy because mm -hmm. of who they are, or they got lucky, or they're just the smarter, more talented. Or, yeah. yeah, something you know, it just appears easy. But I mean, always if you talk to people, like you know, we know a lot of successful entrepreneurs and. They have a story, right? Everybody. They, everyone goes through this turmoil, through this kind of transformation, uh, facing their fears and uh, really kind of um, facing a big challenge in their life. And I think we have to be honest about it because I think that um, there's too much out there and the, the self-help is that you, you something's uh, you know, wounded in you if you're having struggles. Mm -hmm. Like you need to make it easy. You're doing something wrong. And, um, you know, that kind of self-blame that, you know, it should be easier. Like, look at, you know, this person, they did this one course and made a million dollars. How come I'm not making a million dollars? I must, there must be something wrong oh, with right, me. Right. And, um, and it's really a, a false, uh, it's false advertising, basically, because it is, it's a journey. And, and it's not hard physically. Like, it's not like the things you have to do are not hard at all. Mm. The hardest part is working with your mind. It's really battling your own fears and the, the emotions that arise in stepping out and mm -hmm. becoming who you are. You know, um, when people say that, um, you know, think about purpose, they think about it as like it's something that you do, you know, like I, I do this, but it's really some, it's how, who you are that's expressing it. And so all the my journey it took me ten years to feed, from my time from Colorado. I moved when I was twenty nine, and at thirty nine I finally left the corporate world for good. It took me ten years um, because I kept going back to that safety. It's um, it really is this idea that um, all along the way you get clues mm -hmm. and you learn different talents and you try different things. Like I did energy work and I did hypnotherapy. I did massage therapy and along the way I, t I found pieces of what I loved and writing. I took writing classes and all these things that I loved and they just kept building until I finally found something that could, I could really do that fulfilled all those things and I can do all of them in one career. But it's not really the doing of those things. It's who I'm being when I do them. It's it's being um, being able to express all the things, the gifts that you have from your higher self, not mm. from the ego.